I'm Al Progers. This series of video clips is about giving you practical tools to make your communication more effective while you're working remotely. My aim is to share a few simple tips each time that you can apply immediately and get results. Now, you might notice I'm standing in the rain just outside my home as I talk to you. Now, the camera is nice and dry, don't worry. But after spending so much time in lockdown, suddenly it feels like an enormous privilege just to be too dumb to come in out of the rain. Of course, I hope you're healthy and that you have all the shelter that you need to keep you safe from the elements. The whole COVID-19 crisis has reinforced how physical we are. If we disconnect our minds from, from our bodies, from our senses, soon we struggle in all aspects of our lives. So the one thing I've noticed is that since social distancing began, people are reaching out virtually to make up for the contact that they're missing physically. We instinctively do this for our own well-being. We weren't designed to be perpetually alone. And this is where we're relearning a valuable lesson. Our devices were meant to connect us, not divide us. Instead of using electronics as a shield between ourselves and other people, we're rediscovering how to use them as a key to meaningful interaction. So, if people need to interact with a genuine, authentic human being, why not be the person that takes on that role? If your business can add that vital feel-good factor, as well as the concrete value to your interactions, well then you're on your way to becoming an essential part of their day. Think of yourself as groceries. You don't have to be spectacular, just necessary. Then you'll always be in demand. Just be necessary. So, if we accept that our physicality is important, let's not only talk with our faces. Push that screen back a bit so that people can see some of your body language. It makes you more fully human than a disembodied head and helps you clarify and expand what you say. Also, it allows them to decipher your reactions. So if you're too close to that screen, looming over your device on your desk, you create the impression that you're looking down on everybody and they get this weird perspective looking up your nose. So, ugh. when it comes to business calls, most of us have been warned to keep it tidy and efficient and don't waffle and get to the point and remember everything that you say because it can be used as evidence against you. But however, I believe the rules have changed. You're going to need to set aside some time at the beginning of every meeting just to reignite that spark of relationship, that interpersonal magic amongst team members or, or even with your client. Allow an open-ended conversation before you plunge into the detail. Sure, by all means, keep an eye on the time, guide the participants gently back to the point of the meeting, but get some energy flowing back into the group. It's revitalizing. It's like rain. So that's all for this episode. I'll be posting short clips like this every few days. And if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And look below to the title for links and more tips about getting the absolute best results when you're working remotely. Now let's get back inside.